Big car wins for the Cats for sure. on the weekend. Four to two at St. Cloud, and then same score at Upper Iowa on Sunday. Huge wins in the sense that both uh, for a squad that was starving for those in right. the month, and then also just in terms of literally what it means for this team's yeah. standing come yeah, postseason, sure. which is now essentially a right. So your thoughts on kind of how the guys rose to the occasion a little bit? Yeah, they certainly did. I mean, we, we've just been preaching to them all along just to continue to be themselves and, and know their strengths and play to them, and, and that's exactly what they did. But, you know, more than just the results, we just, we just had a blast all weekend. The guys were, were up for it all weekend. It was probably the most fun road trip that, that we've ever had uh, in addition to the results and, and the way they played. But in terms of how they played, uh, they were fantastic from, from, well, from 90 seconds in uh, on the first game since we conceded about 90 seconds in. Um, but, but from that goal, uh, we were fantastic. We were fantastic on the ball, off the ball, finishing, final third, all the things that we've really been working on in training. It finally came together. Great environment on Friday night at St. Cloud. is very professional night game uh, in a football stadium. So we had an opportunity to have a big locker room and, and the guys just vibed and, and it really showed on the field. And that's, that's really important for a, t a sport like soccer where, where guys are, you know, everyone plays offense, everybody plays defense, everybody plays special teams. That's just how it works. And so when guys start to get frustrated and, and do too much and start to do other people's jobs, that's where you start to get out of sync. And so we got back to guys just doing their jobs and, and the guys that were expected to score scored and the guys that were expected to, to distribute distributed and the guys that defended defended very well. And, and that's a complimentary team. So the results were fantastic. The goals we scored were fantastic. Uh, but like you said, it puts us in a really nice position um, where we can control our destiny to win a, to host a playoff game on Sunday, which I've been telling you guys all season that that's what we were looking to do. Uh, and now we've got that opportunity. It's not going to be easy. It's Parkside. They're defending champions. They're very, very hard to break down. Best defensive team in the league. Um, but you know what? This is where we want to be. We wanted this game to mean something, and it does. And our guys couldn't be more up for it. So I noticed... Um after the Sunday win, you commented uh, on the quality, not just the amount, oh, the quality sure. of yeah. goals that you guys scored this weekend. So would you say that the, the offense uh, really took a step forward? Absolutely. Yeah, they've been taking steps forward. It, it sometimes doesn't show in the stats. It's, you know, it, it's hard to – there's no statistic line for combination play. There's no statistics line for how many times you make a, a one-two or a wall pass or an overlap. Um, you only see the shots and the goals. And so this week when we finally were able to finish, but the type of goals were were really, really well worked in terms of uh, full team goals and combinations, but also individual plays as well. And so the guys just finally found that net that we've been working on, and, and they really were top class. So anybody with a Flow Sports account, uh, I, I suggest you log on and watch the replay of our goals. You can find the box score. You can fast forward right to the minutes the goals were scored and and you'll see some really high level finishing and that's that's the potential we've seen all along and so we're just going to keep pushing those buttons to hopefully get it again and you talk about potential how about the freshman uh, yeah. i apologize if i butcher is it tomaso 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 yeah leading all freshmen in goals that's right. player yeah. of the week yeah three this weekend yeah. what can you say of the way he played in the season he's had? oh he's been amazing and you know you a typical striker, right? You think they, you know, they they just wanted to score and they don't defend and they don't work hard. That's not him. He works so hard off the ball, on the ball, defensively. He's been trying his hardest. The goals weren't coming in. He's been working hard in training. And and the weekend that he had is his level. That's that's his level. Uh, that's kind of his not not even his ceiling. That's just an average day for him. Uh, but he's finally found the, the net, and so. He's well deserved to have that award as, as play, offensive player in the week. But for us, it's, again, it's no surprise. That's the level he plays at. That's the level we have within the team. Uh, but w what separates him, I think, that from other strikers is that he works really, really hard defensively. You'll see him recovering 80, 90 yards back to get a slide tackle in. You'll see him pressing up high up the field. And then he's able to have that energy to then run in behind and, and make runs where he maybe is not going to get the ball. Uh, and so that's really an unselfish forward and and it's rare so congratulations to him but you know it's it's a team award as well you don't get offensive player of the week without guys giving you the ball and passing and being able to find you in good spaces so it, for us it's obviously an individual award but but it's also a team acclimate, uh, award as well so we're excited about it and we're, we're proud of Tommy so then like you said coach moment of truth yeah that's, tomorrow that's right at, at Parkside a little bit playoff destiny is in your control right. which is the guys wanted to be this year so right. is there a better motivator than that than just knowing that everything that you've uh, everything that you've done and all the groundwork you've laid up to this point 
there's a payoff that's right there. You just have yeah. to go get it. Uh, there's really not. You know, I, as coaches, we we always look ahead and and forecast how it's going to go, and it rarely goes that way. But this is what we expected the season to be like. We knew based on when we played certain teams and the way ours lined up with playing Saginaw and Parkside kind of back to back in the middle of the season and having, you know, the teams that we played this weekend we opened with. So we knew that there was going to be this, uh, the middle part of the season was going to be tough and was going to challenge our identity as a program. And, and it certainly did that. And it, it, it brought us close to the edge. Uh, but again, we've talked about this last week and, if, and, and weeks before that, is that our culture is very strong and our leadership is very strong. And there was no way that they were going to allow anybody to get on the bus last Thursday to go to St. Cloud that wasn't all in and ready to get this, this team in a position to, to play Parkside tomorrow for a chance to host a playoff game. So there really isn't a better motivator right now as coaches. For us, it's, it's kind of get out of their way and make sure they're healthy and, and make sure they don't hurt themselves by doing too much. Um, so today's session was very light. We're still in recovery. Um, and that's the message is we're just going to keep going and doing what we've been doing and let the chips fall where they may. But we know we're playing Sunday. So regardless of the result tomorrow, uh, we're, we're, we're going to play Sunday. We just hope it's here uh, in Marquette.